This is what we call camouflage. Me camouflaging into the environment while I allow the leeches to crawl. Ah, ooh, how that one bit me good. At the moment, we are in Australia. It is our very first day here and we are very jet lagged. And earlier today, we came to this park and we found that it was completely infested with forest leeches. Today, I'm gonna to set myself the challenge of trying to make an episode in a single hour. So it is three o'clock PM here in Australia. And by four o'clock, I'm gonna have been eaten live by these hungry bloodsuckers. In Australia, people are famous for walking around barefoot. I never quite understood this, unless of course you just want to connect with the planet, in which case I have great respect for that. But when it comes to walking around in Australia, there are a lot of things that can bite and sting you that are really painful. The area that we're in right now is notorious for its number of Sydney funnel web spiders. Hopefully I don't run into one of those. But I feel like my best odds of getting eaten alive by these leeches will be to take off my socks and my boots and let my piggies, let my dogs out and see whether or not in the walk around this pond right here, I managed to get myself swarmed by these forest leeches. Probably can't see that on the GoPro, but already there's a leech right there. Here we go. I gotta come back, get the camera, cut it, and then take it with me. Okay, the quest begins. And by quest, I mean, well, there are gonna be leeches questing for the delicious taste of my feet. Now, people often make fun of my feet because, to be honest, I got pretty weak feet. They're really soft for some reason. I don't spend a lot of time barefoot. I should probably spend more time barefoot. When I did the episode in Alaska with Steve Kroeschel and the Wolverines, oh man, that I put my feet through some serious, serious issues. Now, they're all buried down in this leaf structure. You see this? All the leaves that you see covering the forest floor here are exactly where those leeches are hiding. And similar to ticks, what they will do is quest for their next victim, which means they can sense heat, body heat, and carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide? No, nope, it's carbon dioxide. The heat from your skin and the carbon dioxide that's exuded from your skin allows leeches to say, that is a warm-blooded creature. I'm gonna hop on, catch a free ride, and get a free meal. I should be asleep right now, but you know, it's brave wilderness, so we're making videos. So far, oh boy, there we go. Walking through the underbrush, really all you gotta do is step a couple of spots, sit and wait. Ah, oh, yeah, it's starting to, starting to dig in. Mm -hmm. Now, just like the leeches that I was bitten by years ago, they have a mouthpiece that looks like the Mercedes Benz emblem. These three slicing teeth that once they get on you, they lube the skin with anticoagulant and then they slice in. At least that's how the European medicinal leeches worked. I can tell you already that the ones right down here, I can feel them beginning to drink. Right there, that is one's mouth locked in place. Got a couple more down here. <sighs> the blood buffet line is officially open and ready for business. All right, let's work my way down here. Okay, how do I get back up to the trail? I'm completely lost. One way people often get leeches on them is just by simply stopping to admire nature. You look around, you're standing in an area that is dense with plants, you're not paying attention to your feet. You look down and you're like, okay, this is, this is totally good to go right here. Except for the fact that leeches are coming up and off of the plants and onto your legs. I think I have found a pretty good spot here standing in the ferns because I am seeing more and more of them jumping onto my legs especially this giant one right there look at this guy he just hitched on a couple seconds ago oh that guy's starting to get close to the shorts line what i don't want is for them to crawl up my shorts you may be wondering to yourself why in the world would this man wander around barefoot in a leech infested forest stay tuned to the end of this episode and i promise i'm going to show you how to safely remove leeches from your body in the event that you ever find yourself in this worst case scenario <sighs> i just keep walking and walking and walking and my feet are taking a beating but it's worth it okay i'm gonna go meet up with mario and trent 
We're gonna get the type B-roll shots, we're gonna get the thumbnail, and I'm gonna get these leeches off of my leg. Okay, it has been a solid hour since I walked around the outside of this pond, and while I was hoping for more leeches, there are not just a couple, there are many. I'm gonna count them real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 leeches on my legs, feet, and ankles at the moment. And the one that definitely took the most advantage of my blood buffet line was this guy right here. Now to remove a leech, you have to remember there is the back end and the front end. Both ends have suction cups. You want to remove the back end first, which is going to be the bigger end. You may think, oh, bigger end's probably the head. Nope, the bigger end is actually the butt and the smaller end is the head itself. All you need to do is use your fingernail. Slide your fingernail up against the back end of the leech like that to get it to unadhere and then the same exact thing you want to do by its mouth. Now what you don't want to do is just pull the leech straight off. If you do that, or if you squeeze the leech, you can actually cause it to regurgitate some of its meal into your wound. That could cause an infection. So you take your thumbnail or a credit card or anything that's flat and smooth and run it right from the backside up against its mouth, just like that, and the leech will pop off. And that right there is one very full leech. Yeah, buddy, you've had enough to eat, I think. Oh, that is disgusting. This leech started out short and skinny, and I was long and plump, and it's filled with Coyote Peterson's blood. Now I'm gonna remove every single one of these leeches in that same fashion. As you can see there, the blood is starting to flow. That's always going to happen. Now for cleanup, all you need to use is a little bit of soap and water, maybe some Neosporin, keep the wound uncovered, keep dabbing it. You don't wanna cover it, you wanna just let the wound breathe at the end of the day, and uh, you should be fine. Very seldom are there infections that are caused from leech bites, unless of course you squeeze it and get some of that regurgitation into the wound itself. So as long as you're careful when removing leeches, you hopefully should be just fine. But I have to say, it is very creepy feeling to have something on you drinking your blood. Is there any pain that I'm experiencing? No, absolutely none whatsoever. Because of that numbing agent in their saliva. You may feel a little bit of a pinch. I did feel a pinch a couple of times, especially the ones in between my toes. Ugh. You know, there are many methods that you may stumble across on the internet for removing leeches. You know, people say, oh, use salt like you would melt a slug or use a lighter. This is, this is absolutely the wrong way to do it. It's all about properly removing the back end using the edge of your thumb. I find that honestly the best thing to use is a credit card. And get you off of there like that. Oh man, oh look at this beaster here. Oh, that is so slimy. Ah, gross. Oh, come on, don't stick on there too. Yeah, come on. Ah, oh, and one thing I'm not looking forward to is the last time we did a leech episode, the itching was a big part of the aftermath, and I have a feeling that that's gonna be the same with these guys. Oh, yeah. And there you have it. Coyote Peterson turning himself into a blood buffet line for forest leeches. But at the end of the day, we showed you guys how to properly remove these creepy alien looking creatures from your body if you ever find yourself in the blood buffet line. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, <sighs> stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. <sighs> what a way to start off Australia. As I learned from our previous leech experiment, these bites had more to give as exactly a week after filming the scene, I experienced intense itchiness, weird seepage, and around a dozen nagging wounds that eventually turned to scars that I still carry today. Moral of the story, do your best to avoid becoming a leech buffet line. And if you're not afraid of venturing off trail, check this out. Growing up, I spent a lot of time running around in the woods looking for critters with no gear or guidance. I learned a lot about nature and the world around me through trial and error. But just think of all the awesome things I would have learned with the right tools and training. That's why I'm so excited to be teaming up with Think Outside. Think Outside is an award-winning subscription program featuring 12 monthly outdoor boxes for aspiring adventurers of all ages. 
Every box comes with high quality tools, like these binoculars, this headlamp, and this compass. A super detailed activity guide to follow along with, and educational challenges for the entire family. They're on a mission to give every young adventurer the tools they need to become a nature expert, just like me. Head over to thinkoutsideboxes.com to learn more. And use promo code COYOTE at checkout to save $20 on your first box with any multi-month subscription.